I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining once again on my channel on data engineering. This episode, we go back to our artificial intelligence playlist, and we're going to take a look at ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT is such a huge topic that I think everyone is familiar with by now. Just about everybody's done a video on ChatGPT, except in this episode, what I'd like to do is to do something that data engineers do on a regular basis, and that is to create a simple database application that a user might use on their desktop. And I think even though this is a very simple task, you might be surprised at how much ChatGPT can actually do. Let's get to it. Want to help support my work? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay, guys, so super fun one today. Uh, this is ChatGPT, which you can Google and you can find this page. I even have the free version. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to try to uh, just specify or ask it to give us the code for a database application and see how far we get. Now, now the free version, I will definitely let you know. Um, it sort of like will time out if you give a ton of specification to it. It sort of times out. You have to upgrade, I think, to get more to ask with more detail um, and things like that. So um, I'm just going to do a very simple application that allows us to put employees into a database. So it's going to create a database. It's going to give a user interface. And for that, I decided um, I'll just ask it to use Python 3, which is the sort of standard Python right now. If you go and download from you know, python.org, and now I already know that SQLite 3 is bundled with it. So, you know, it Python automatically knows how to work with SQLite 3. So I decided to ask it for that. And I also know that it's sort of bundled with uh, uh, tkinter, which is, uh, which is a little data interface uh, sort of library that you can use. Um, so I knew those things. You might not know that when you ask, uh, you know, chat GPT to do something, uh, but uh, I'm just going to say, you know, give me a database that gives me an employee number, a last name, first name, and department. We'll stick to that for now. Um, and then, you know, users can enter data on a form and then click a save button uh, to save that record in a table in a database. So, so we're going to be creating a database, creating a table in the database, and creating a user interface on the form and uh, we'll make sure we'll say that data is going to be persistent because um, we want it to save from session to session maybe I'll put you know in, in the database will be persistent um, so we want to make sure that the database stores the data and then um, you know at the bottom of the form to show a current list of all the records that we entered into the table uh, that is in the database we create. Now, um, the list will be updated each time that we add a new record or we type into the fields and we click Save. Um, and then uh, we can select in that list. And that's as far as I'm going to go today. Uh, so basically, uh, we're going to have a data entry form with a list to show all of the entries we made and see if we can get ChatGPT to create that application within the, you know, the uh, time parameters that it allows right now. Because I have noticed um, in my previous tries uh, that it definitely will just stop calculating or stop writing, you know, your your procedure if you have a, a ton of requirements. Now I'm sure you can pay to get that. So. So there's my, my thing. I hit enter and you can see here's ChatGPT. It's sort of like analyzed my um, requirements and it is going to write all the Python code in Python 3, kind of like I specified there. And you can see it's just rocking along here. Um, it's using the uh, tkinter um, library to create that, you know, form. And then it's got, you know, a save function to save data. Uh, it looks like, yeah, when you click save, 
uh, and then it's you know populating a list box so we do have a list box happening there and then um, at the end here we have uh, it opening the main loop of the root which is basically the the data entry form so this is really great and you can see that ChatGPT gives back some feedback as well saying you know this is created a, a database with a single table called employees and it has you know employee number um, last name first name and department and things like that and it used the uh, GUI uh, using a uh, tkinter and those kinds of things and now um, I was able to copy oh, wrong one uh, copy the code into a new Python file and I can do that by using the idle interface which I already have open in the background here so I'll minimize that I've got idle ready to go and I'll hit a new new file there and we'll create a new idle file um, and I save that as a chat GPT underscore ee dot py and I'm just gonna paste that in there um, everything I got from chat GPT I have no idea if this is gonna run um, you can see it actually added some nice commenting and everything there too um, so that's kinda cool um, now I did run it and here is the interface and that is probably one of the ugliest interfaces I've ever seen uh, but that's okay because we're trying to see if we can make something that's functional I'm sure you can add all kinds of parameters and you can uh, stuff those parameters in to get the look and feel that you want okay so I typed into the fields and I clicked save and it looks like it did create a record and it updated the list just like we asked for um, and that is exactly what we want to see if I add another user here it looks like it works and so this is really kind of cool because uh, even though this is a very very simple example of you sort of a data collection interface you can see that it works and we can uh, you know click in and, and select users in that list we could probably add more functionality like updating and all that other kind of stuff but let's see if it's saved so I closed it and I'm gonna reopen it rerun it and it looks like it did rerun so that's good um, and it saved the data in the database um, and that is exactly what we want to see there now this is a very very simple example like I said um, and of course uh, I did notice when I tried to add all kinds of features and things like that my processing time on ChatGPT ran out and it just stopped creating uh, stopped creating the additional features um, so obviously you have to pay for additional uh, functionality which I probably will end up doing uh, but for this very very simple example it was able to write all of this code and you know it did it very quickly and so on first glance for a data engineer this is very very impressive even though it's such a simple example what do you guys think is ChatGPT gonna take over let me know in the comments below looking for more resources for your project Make sure to check out the additional links in the description.